What's up, vlogmas? I thought I would start out the vlog today getting a little festive. So I got this spiced cider from Trader Joe's the other day when I was at the market. And I was thinking I could do some fun cocktails with it, heat it up and have it just warm. But today I think this might be good just over ice. I'm gonna see how well it tastes. Shake this bad boy up. It smells like festivities. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be out here sipping on some iced apple cider all vlogmas long. This is so refreshing, so delicious. And I'm a really big fan of apple juice, but obviously cider has a little bit of a spice to it, so it's really nice. And um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'm trying my best to kick my caffeine addiction to the point where four espressos doesn't even affect me. That's how you know you have an issue. The best part of the year is just getting those Amazon deliveries because first of all, fast prime shipping. This came in like overnight, you guys. I got an upgrade version to my air purifier for my studio apartment. Those of you guys that know, studio apartments are small spaces. So you can really smell everything. You can smell your burnt hair when you're doing it for the day. You can smell the fish that you're frying in the kitchen. You can definitely feel and see dander from pets and animals and all of that. Not to mention I live in LA, which is like the dustiest city. We have all this smog and air pollution. So it's really crucial for me to have a nice clean space that is my home being that I'm here all of the time. I work from home, I live here, I cook a lot. So I really enjoy my Lovette air purifier. This one is the upgraded version. It's the Core 300, you guys. Again, I got it off of Amazon. Super quick shipping. I'm gonna leave it linked down below. I do really like their models because they are nice and sleek. They're white. It's not like a sore thumb that sticks out in your space. They also would make for the perfect gift for someone in your life. If you don't know what to get someone, get them this. There's always someone in their family that is sick all the time, that is a germaphobe, AKA me. So if you know someone like that, this will be a great gift and it's not expensive at all. I do also wanna mention, oh, so satisfying that was. Shout out to Lil Voigt for sponsoring this part of the vlog because they did gift this to me. This is my favorite thing because I like to hear background noise, especially when I'm sleeping or when I'm just getting work done from home. So let me just go over some of the features really quickly. There are three different speeds to the fan. The first one is pretty quiet. The second one has a little bit more sound to it. And then the third one, of course, is a little bit more intense. There is a timer feature here, two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours. There's also the no light button if you don't wanna see any LED lights, you don't have to have those on while the purifier is still working. There is a nighttime mode. So the purifier obviously is still on, but it's not as loud as it would just be on the first speed. And if you have little ones, little furry friends, it's even better to help with their dander. Right, Lily? Say, I'm a Yorkie poo. We don't really shed that much. Oh my god, Vlogmas. What is good? I'm out here about to beat my face. Throw in some extensions because your girl is going to be having a FaceTime date tonight. Yes. And I actually am really excited about this. So I was like, let me just do a little get ready with me. Little situation. And I've got my red wine. So I suggest, if you're old enough, which I'm sure you guys are, Pour yourself a glass. We're gonna have a chat. We're gonna have some girl time. But what I'm gonna do is tie my hair in a very tight mini bun. I've never actually done this style before. I'm gonna add extensions to this. And that should be okay. The whole point here is to get ready super fast. So you can be like, oh yeah, I'll be home in 15 minutes. I'll call you then. You will not catch me looking crazy. It's just sewing weave, you guys. There's no clips to this or anything. And this is what I use for my ponytails. I actually have a whole tutorial showing you guys how I colored the extensions and how to install them for a ponytail. I'm gonna do a little double up on this bad boy. 
and I'm gonna take a little piece to secure it to my hair and I'm just gonna wrap this end around the base of my bun boom and then I'm gonna take the rest of this and wrap it just around I probably should have brushed this but listen we're short on time <laughs> wrap it around the base of your bun you guys And I really don't know if I'm going to add two bundles, but we'll see how full we want the bun to be once we secure this in place. Alright, so I've got the end of the bundle. Bobby pins, you guys. I stay losing my bobby pins and I keep buying them and I'm like, where the heck did they go? So you just want to secure the end of that weft. I'm gonna detangle these. I literally just took out my ponytail and took a shower. And now I'm about to read you my makeup. Like that is the freaking worst. Like you know, when you hop into the shower, you do your skincare routine, you take off the bra, like you are in for the night. Why is it every time we do our little routine, someone wants to be like, what's good, you up? Like don't hit me with that. Don't hit me with that after I've showered. But I guess if you really like the guy, then you're going to do what you got to do to look cute. So that's why I'm getting cute again for the day. So this is just one bundle. And again, I don't know if I'm going to need more. I probably don't. But I'm going to kind of cover up my bun. Like this. And then I'm going to do a little wrap with the extensions. Definitely going to want a lot of... Um, bobby pins so I'm just gonna take the hair and kind of wrap it around my bun making sure that I cover it up so you don't see that there's another bun under a bun does that make sense boom see look at that so I'm gonna take the end and then secure it with another bobby pin so this is another great protective hairstyle that's why I love getting weft extensions like this because you can wear them in so many different ways and it's quick you guys literally just saw me transform my wet hair out of the shower into a cute sleek ballerina wannabe bun and it's voluminous it's super full I did lay my edges down I'm gonna take these little barrettes to um, lay down my kitchen back here but yeah I think this is so cute three minute bun protective style and I didn't have to put any heat on my own hair which is amazing and that's it you guys this is cute I like that it's just one bundle because it's not too heavy sometimes when I have my ponytail extensions in I do wear two bundles and I'll just swing it up into a bun just like this but it's so thick and heavy that my head like it hurts my neck a little bit so this is a little bit lighter a little bit more wearable these Instagram filters play too many games. They play too many games. Question of Vlogmas. Do you think it is worth it to look your best during FaceTime calls, especially if it's someone of interest to you? Now, if it's my mom, I don't give a fuck. Like, I will look busted up, might even cover up my head with a hoodie so she doesn't ask me any questions about my hair. Uh, but that's about it. Otherwise, if it's a guy, like, don't FaceTime me. I think Megs said it best here on YouTube. She did a whole vlog about it, and I stand by everything that she said in that video. So funny, but so true. Don't FaceTime me without an appointment. Like, you better schedule yourself in so I am ready and I am prepared. Like, no, you're not about to catch me out here. I'm not about to answer. That's what's going to happen. You can keep blowing me up, but I'm not about to pick up. And that is just what it is. But that's just me. Everyone is different. I do want to talk to you guys about dating and kind of start a conversation about obviously the different types of dating because everyone's circumstances are different. Um, for me, this dude, I mean, without giving out too many personal details, 
we once knew each other because there was a point in time when we both lived in LA and the thing about LA is people are so in and out of LA there's not a lot of people that actually stay here a long time so I've had a lot of people just come in and out of my life just because they choose not to live here or LA becomes too much so they just go back to their hometown it happens all the time so the fact that I'm still here almost seven years later people are like whoa like you've been here a long time yeah it's crazy to me and I love it so grateful I love this city so much it's amazing so for me like FaceTime dates I think can be just as special as traditional dates in the way of just feeling closer to that person getting to have new moments and memories creating new inside jokes getting to know each other obviously people's situations in life are different some people are forced to be dating at a distance or to have their man be in the military so they have to go somewhere else and you have to make it work you have to keep up with that communication this is like a new thing just the interaction again and i am really excited which is why i'm taking the time to get ready again otherwise no bro you can call me tomorrow you know what i mean like at the end of the day people do what they want to do they make time for the things that are important to them and if someone is important to you you're gonna make the time in your day no matter how busy you are how tired you are to spend time with them and i don't know if you guys are aware of the five love languages it's so fascinating to me. I definitely encourage you guys to take the quiz. You can just do a quick Google search, five love language quiz, and it's free. Uh, maybe like 20 questions or so, and you'll find out what your own love language is. And off the top of my head, it's gifts, like giving, receiving gifts, words of affirmation, like I love you, quality time, touch, and shoot there's one more i always forget touch quality time gifts words of affirmation and another one so take the quiz and you'll find out what your love language is because you know what not everyone's love language is the same i could buy a really expensive gift for someone and i think it's like amazing that's my way of saying i love you but to them it's just a materialistic thing like okay cool thanks it's not like oh my god that person really cares about me they spent their hard-earned money on me like that's amazing you know not everyone receives or gives love the same way for me it's definitely quality time and that's how i show that i love you is spending time with you doing things together taking time out of my day to text you like i just said earlier i don't answer my phone for anyone but if i love you i'm gonna answer the phone so quick because i want to know that everything's okay i want to make sure that you're good and i want to know what you're up to you know what i mean so it's just little things like that and i always ask people that i'm interested in, interested in you know what is your love language and most of the time they're like what the hell is that I break it down and they're like oh cool let me take the quiz so it's a little nice icebreaker yes but it's also a good way to know if you're going to be compatible with that person and it's a great way to tell how you could and should express your love towards them especially if it's someone that you have interest in i'm not talking about a random dude that you met on tinder let me know your love language so i could start buying you things no but if it's someone that you're serious about definitely something good to know and I just thought that'd be fun to kind of mention in this vlog. So yeah, quality time is my love language. Whoop, whoop. I love this, you guys. Girl chat is my favorite chat. I know I have some guys that watch these vlogs, so feel free to chime in. I want to know what your love language is too, because I'm just very fascinated. Everyone is different, so it's nice to see or, or hear. I'm sorry. Well, yes, I guess see comments. You know, your own perspective and why you feel the way that you do. So cheers to finding your love language. I am very curious to know, that's actually the question of the vlog, what is your love language? Comment down below. We're gonna warm up this face a little bit. My face has been so plump in the best way possible, like a Facetune filter type of Instagram vibe. It's because I've been so hydrated. Guys, drink a lot of water and you're gonna see a glow. You're gonna see a plump juiciness to your face and it definitely does make a difference you can say drink water okay mind your business but it really does wonders to the way that you look and feel like i just put a little bronzer i still look so plump like there's something about it honestly it looks like i got freshly injected and i'm not even mad <laughs> it's just so plump i love low-key kind of lazy do i feel like putting on lashes right now 
I don't know. So what I'm going to do is test out how I look on my camera because that will tell me yes or no. You feel me? Like, do you feel confident? That's all that matters. All right, you guys, I'm going to do a cute little gloss. This is a pretty thing by Marc Jacobs. I don't always feel like a glossy lip. It just looks so juicy and full and it's just like the attention goes there. So with like FaceTime dates, it's a little bit different because you don't really have senses. You can't really smell the person, you know, like you would in real life. You can't really feel them, but you can look at them. And you can think about the things you want to do, you know? That's the difference. This is from Adore Me. I got it last year. Actually around this time. Was it last year? I want to say. I have it in black too, and it definitely gives me Versace Versace vibes. It's like this really nice velvet material very nice quality and then it just matches my pajamas underneath i have like a little um nighty on but i finished my red wine and i just washed my glass but i wanted to try this rosé sorry for the lighting i am like obsessed with individual drinks because i am one person Sometimes I'm just not in the mood to open up a full bottle of wine and I can't possibly drink it before it goes off in three days And I hate to throw out a bottle of wine like that is the most disrespectful thing Next to eating cold french fries, so you won't catch me doing that But I really like the concept and the idea of having canned of wine cans of wine especially good quality now I bought this one from Trader Joe's for five dollars $5 a glass at home compared to $15 out in LA. I think that's a steal. And I'm not sure if this one is, oh it is, rosé with bubbles. Hopefully it's dry. 11% alcohol per volume. If I'm gonna do a sparkling rosé, I prefer Babe. But we don't have that today. So I'm gonna see how this compares. I can already tell you it's gonna be sweet. I can taste it now. Yo, they hooked it up. This is like two glasses, bro. Five dollars? This is most definitely two servings. Wow, she's heavy. She's a little thick. Smells really good. Ooh. Like it's so heavy, my wine glass is gonna break. Whoa, she's not sweet at all. She's kind of dry. Whoa, I'm not mad at this. This seems to be my favorite place to end my Vlogmas vlogs because the lighting is not great in my apartment at nighttime. I kind of prop you up on my MacBook. I love you. All right, guys, I am out of here. I will catch you guys tomorrow. For those of you guys that are new, thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. My name is Kayla Lachey. I'm so sorry I didn't introduce myself before, but I hope that you guys like the content and you take the time to hit subscribe and you click the post notification bell next to it so you dolls never miss a post. And of course, you guys can find me over on Instagram. Tell them where to find us, at Doll. We're always in the DMs. We're always posting to our stories. We're always tagging everything. <laughs> so definitely check that out so you guys are in the know. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! If you are like me and you like white noise, this is what you need in your space. This is my favorite thing because I like to hear background noise, especially when I'm sleeping or when I'm just getting work done from home. So let me just go over some of the features really quickly. There are three different speeds to the fan. The first one is pretty quiet. The second one has a little bit more sound to it. And then the third one, of course, is a little bit more intense. 